Welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. My name is Justin. Today, I gotta do a little delivery. And believe it or not, yeah, it's snowing outside here. And somebody wants some topsoil, so I'm gonna buzz out, get that done. Remember this truck number? Got that load off. Now I am stopping here in town because I want to check out some samples at the guy that's doing our merch store. So he set it up for me online. So far everything's working out well. Got a, quite a few orders. Just here in downtown Geneva at Community Proud Apparel. Let's go check out what Chad's got for us. What's up, Chad? What's up, brother? How are you? Good, we've got your sample. Awesome, looks great. All set for you. All right, so this is my friend Chad, and Chad owns the uh, print shop here, and uh, he sets set up the web store for us, uh, a lot of good stuff. So Chad, you wanna tell us a little bit about your business and what all you do here? Sure, so uh, Community Proud Apparel is the name. We're located in downtown Geneva. Uh, we've been here for a couple years now, but we do everything A to Z marketing. We can design your website, we can design your logo. Uh, we do screen printing, embroidery, vinyl signage for storefront windows, stickers, banners, kind of really anything that you need um, help with getting found on Google. Um, so we pretty much do it all here. That's great, thanks Chad. So he hooked us up with the shirt, the web store, and there's actually a piece of clothing that I'm really excited about, and that is this hoodie. This isn't our hoodie, it's someone else's, but it's got the zip, or sorry, the, uh, the lace in here. And I always have a struggle putting hoodies on, I think it's my big head, but, <laughs> but uh, so I'm hoping that one's gonna slide over a lot better. I actually ordered a gray one for myself, so I'm super excited to get that. And uh, we're hoping to get some of that stuff here really, really shortly. I'll keep you guys updated. Chad, one more thing I want you to tell us about is sure. the brand, the uh, iHeart FLX. You can see a lot of the shirts here. You guys started that, right? Yeah, so we run in tandem out of here, the iHeart Finger Lakes brand and our retail storefronts up front. We started that uh, about three, four years ago as well. And that's been real fun to just promote the region that we love so much anyway. Awesome, if you guys ever get a chance, you know, come up to upstate New York, it's beautiful. And make sure you pick up a iHeart FLX t-shirt. All right, thanks, Chad. It's good. All right, guys, let's go see what other trouble we can get into. One of our trucks headed out for a load of snow. This is my day-to-day -day financial meeting. <laughs> my partners. 14 hours later, I'm out. Here's your T300. Don't you think this thing needs a visor? Alrighty guys, it is on there, looking pretty good. I'm going to flip the hood here guys and show you why we use this style visor and why if I was ordering a brand new truck, I would order it without a visor. So here you can see how this mounts. It goes right on this mirror bracket. Usually your stock visor, you would have holes back in here. And what happens when you put a bigger visor on, they will start to, well, it buck, the visor bucks a lot of wind and they start to ream out and you get stuff leaking and the visor starts to flop in and yeah, you got a mess. So the thing holding this visor on is those three, same way on the other side. And if you look underneath, See that rubber piece that is right against the windshield? So it's a nice clean, gives a nice clean look. I honestly don't really like the way this part looks on these trucks, but it's something I got over because I know now why we do it. It definitely makes a lot more sense. And it is definitely, you know, if you're, like I said, if you're ordering a truck, I would order without a visor. That way this is all nice and clean here. Otherwise you gotta fill those holes in. And I wanna show you, it looks like 
the tanks came in or the tank for the Peterbilt that's got to get painted and then we also got the fender that came in come from shift products up in Canada so that's for the glider that had a deer and what else we got going on today running some new airlines we pulled a few more trucks in the shop you can see here's a new Titan or a fairly new Titan here is that Mac walking floor it was in my last video I was showing you guys that we're gonna be scrapping this trailer the reason we're scrapping it is because of this right here if I can hold the camera and hold the flashlight at the same time maybe I can point but if you can see how it is bulging out right here uh, I don't know if we can see an angle but it's pushing out probably about an inch inch and a half and you can see how this is all bent so we would basically have to redo this whole section of aluminum and then also redo this bottom plate here because once you start grinding into that and tearing it out you you just can't stop it's just it's completely rust you can see how the rust is you know flaking right off it's just big flakes and sheets that are just peeling right off so there's that spot and there's a spot right there that is bubbling out it's bad there is also a spot up here that is bad and same way on the other side it's you know there's quite a few bad spots that's where you decide you know what it's not worth it obviously so our titan trailers are designed a little bit different and i'll show you that here in a second and i don't even know if i said why our trailers rot out the steel gets all rusty it's because the salt and the brine they spread on the roads it's just nasty nasty stuff and they do that because of all the snow we get here in upstate new york and i want to show you up at the front so this is why we like aluminum trailers here is the reason why if you look at this aluminum this has aluminum cross members these cross members are fine what happens with steel cross members if this was this trailer is a 2004 with steel cross members these would be rotted right through but with aluminum they're not so that helps it helps a lot so hopefully we're gonna get this thing to scrapyard and get it out of her hair get it out of her way so we can continue on with life so here's the mac trailer we shoot over here to the titan trailer the titan walking floor is a little bit different underneath so this main beam right here is all aluminum and these axles are simply bolted onto the frame and say we had an issue with this axle we can pop that axle right off and throw another one on there so that makes it really nice and the aluminum they put like this plastic plate to keep it from corroding or whatever between the steel and aluminum sometimes i know those plates can go bad in there but yeah hopefully these trailers will last us a lot longer and these have all aluminum cross members under here we're getting this thing out of our way i think there's some other trucks that are going to be pulling in here so i gotta head out i'm going to look at a truck a dump truck so hopefully uh, i have some luck and i uh, find a good deal find a truck that fits our needs i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping that there's something i gotta make a four or five hour trip and we'll be back i'll let you guys know what i find as always guys thanks a lot for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel peace out